This video is sponsored by Wingfox, but stick around to know more about them. Hi guys, welcome to the channel. Before we start, you may have already guessed that this is going to be a different kind of video. And honestly, I have been thinking to make this video for a long long time. Most of you have watched my blender process videos and enjoyed them. And for that, I am really grateful. Thanks for all the love and support. But since most of you don't know much about my 3D journey or how I learned Blender or how I started making characters and everything, I think this is the best time to share this story with everyone out there. Plus, as March of 2022, I have been using Blender for 2 years now. So let's look back to this amazing journey. Back in 2017, when I was in high school, I picked up Blender for the first time. I followed some random tutorials and did some very rudimentary stuff. But due to the pressure in my studies and lack of proper discipline, I couldn't keep up with it. Now fast forward to 2020. The global pandemic hit and for the first time suddenly I didn't need to go to college. So I got some spare time and this time there was no way I was gonna waste it. At first, I needed to understand the basics of Blender. So I started with some absolutely random tutorials. The first thing that I call an actual proper work was this computer room. And honestly, I created it completely on my own without any tutorials. And I felt kinda proud back then. Next, I followed Grant Abbott's low poly well tutorial and created some more low poly stuff like this room for example. And after that, I finally got into the famous donut tutorial. And it also gave me a good understanding of the software and a little bit of confidence. So I started to experiment on my own. I tried creating something from vague references and it somehow turned into this, which I still don't know what exactly I was trying to make, but it was something. After this, I tried out making videos for the first time. I followed through a Ducky 3D tutorial and made this loop, which still looks kinda cool. And for the next few months, I watched more tutorials and with the limited knowledge that I had, I experimented on more projects like this. These projects also taught me how to use PBR materials correctly and showed me other new modeling techniques. I also followed other professional techniques, especially on video creation, like Polyfure's famous camera technique and tried them on my own works. And after all these experiments, finally with everything I learned so far, I created a whole full-fledged video. Ok, before we move further, let me quickly introduce to this video sponsor Wingfox. Wingfox is an amazing platform for anyone who wants to find the best and industry standard 3D courses. There is tons of stuff available for everyone. And if you are interested in character creation, you should definitely check this course on how to make the best 2D toon shader for a stylized character. It is a gem for the people who wants to create animal like 3D characters. Through this comprehensive course, you are going to learn everything you need to create the best tune shader possible. For instance, you will learn how they create this animal looking materials in the industry and then apply it to your own blender workflow. With these customized characters, you will learn how light and shadow works through different maps and how they will interact when your character is moving. With simple Rigify add-on, you will animate the characters and customize the color and light based on your preferences. You will learn how to use vertex painting for more controls in your shading workflow. Not only that, you will learn how they create these amazing anime effects that will make the actions more dynamic and powerful. And then you will also be able to use them in game engines like Unity or Unreal. 
So check out Wingfox today and start making the best anime characters in Blender. And thanks Wingfox for sponsoring this video. Now let's go back to where we left. Also, I realized at this point that it was very hard for my PC to handle videos, especially the large ones. So I dropped the idea of making full videos for a long time. I came back to creating still artworks and this time I finally started to share my works with a public audience and well truth be said I got some very genuine and good response. After this I got some motivation and focused on improving my arts as much as I can. I made this game room, I recreated the house scene that I had made months ago and tried to put my heart and soul into everything I created after this. As a result, I decided to make one of the biggest projects I had ever taken. But as I have said earlier that it was very difficult for me to render any large video on my system, I used Google Colab, which is a free cloud rendering platform. I used it to render this entire scene. But well, due to the lack of samples in render and some frame rate issues, the video looks kinda laggy. After this, I took a couple of months break from Blender and invested my time in Unity. I learned c -sharp programming and creating games. It was kind of fun. I did not exactly quit Blender though. I created this house model and this sci-fi scene in this time. I created two more environment scenes after this before finally deciding to get into character creation, which I wanted to do for a long time. First, because I had no clue how a full character is made from start to end, I searched for a comprehensive guide. I found this tutorial series by Sir Pink Beard and made the first character of my life. I made this little character inspired by this 2D art and this soldier was also based on another artist's work. By this time I felt a little confident going for realistic characters so I learned various techniques of sculpting, texturing and hair grooming and made this medieval female character. I learned more understood female anatomy, multi-resolution sculpting, baking, etc. and experimented on more characters. I also understood at this point that it took more than just sculpting to make a full-fledged character. Apparently, you need to learn almost every set of skill in 3D creation to make a believable character. So I decided to go more in-depth. I followed this amazing course by Victory 3D on making Geralt in Blender and this course taught me so many new techniques of character creation, anatomy and likeness which I applied in making Ezio Auditore from Assassin's Creed Revelations and also it was the first video that I uploaded on this channel. I also tried making K from Blade Runner 2049 played by Ryan Gosling to see how good I am at likeness study. And after this, I was obsessed with highly realistic characters. So I took this course called Human on making a realistic portrait in Blender by CG Cookie. And it helped me in creating this portrait of an Indian old man, which is in my opinion the most realistic projects I had ever done. Now at this point, I had been doing characters for months. So I took a little break and went back into making a little scene. By the way, people who don't recognize this scene, it is the gates of Argonath from the Lord of the Rings series. 
after this i also created this female character and one of my own fantasy characters then in the month of april of this year i created marvel's moon knight and it was an instant hit you people have watched it over and over and liked it and it also became the most viewed video of this channel i also created lux from lego of legends in this period and after the success of moon knight you guys also wanted more superhero stuff so i created doctor strange and lady thor in the following months and guess what it is just the beginning i'm going to create more well known characters in the upcoming months so consider subscribing but anyway the last thing i created for now was this portrait of medusa which is actually a personal project so it has been the whole journey of my 2 years working with blender it was a crazy experience so many ups and downs thousands of hours of learning and countless mistakes before i wrap i know that there are lots of people out there who may think that learning a skill like 3d art might be really difficult or there are people who think that they are not skilled enough to learn a software like blender and make cool stuff in it i want to say to them that it is okay we all have been through that phase even the most professional artists out there think that they are not good enough but after all these hours of learning and tweaking even the tiniest details and making tons and tons of bad stuff I realized that time, patience, effort and consistency these are the only tools that you ever need to become a great artist. In fact, I believe it is true for any kind of work out there. With that being said, I want to end this video. I hope you liked it. If you did, give it a like. Feel free to comment and for more videos, subscribe. Thanks and have a great day.